Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Superman and Lois Season 3 Review Series. And today I am going to be talking about Episode 3, In Cold Blood, which I have just finished watching. And this episode was absolutely fantastic and a great follow-up from Episode 2, which in my opinion was perhaps the most emotional episode of the entire show's run thus far. So this episode was more or less a continuation from the end of episode two, where we learned a shocking revelation about Lois Lane, which we'll get into in a moment. And this episode more or less dealt with the aftermath of Lois Lane's shocking reveal about herself and this episode saw Clark trying to get to grips with the entire situation surrounding Lois and we saw the Kents trying to deal with this revelation as well and we also learned a little bit more about what Bruno Mannheim's plans are and we also learned a bit more about how exactly Henry Miller got superpowers as we saw previously in episode two. So I'm going to give a quick recap of what's happened so far and then after that we're just going to get straight into talking about episode three. So as we saw previously in episode two we saw pretty much for most of this episode Lois Lane going in and out of the hospital where she thought she was pregnant and it turned out to be a false alarm and she learned the shocking revelation that she had stage three inflammatory breast cancer and we saw throughout that entire episode Lois Lane trying to deal with the news in her own way and we saw Superman confront Bruno Mannheim so we saw those two meet each other for the first time ever and Bruno Mannheim more or less questioned Superman about his position as a hero. Bruno Mannheim more or less questioned him about, well, you're out saving people on this side. What about the people in your own backyard? I'm doing my job. Are you doing yours? And we saw Lois trying to talk Regan out of committing suicide and she revealed the shocking revelation that she actually has breast cancer, much to Superman's shock. And we saw at the very end of that episode, Lois and Clark sitting down with Jordan and Jonathan and revealing the shocking revelation about Lois Lane's condition. So a very emotional and sad way to end episode two, but I thought it was just absolutely fantastic the way it was handled the way it was written, Elizabeth Tullock's performance was just stellar, I thought. I'd be very surprised if she doesn't get an award for best performance because she deserves it. I thought she done an amazing job. Everybody did, but I think Elizabeth Tullock really shined in that episode the most, in my opinion. So with that all said, let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into it. Let's talk about episode three. In Cold Blood. So this episode kicks off in shocking and epic fashion where we see Clark wake up in the middle of the night hearing Lois's cries for help and we see Clark in his Superman costume darting around in Metropolis trying to pinpoint Lois Lane's cries for help and we see buildings collapsing, we see roads splitting open, very similar to how Doomsday made his first appearance back in the comic books. And we see Lois standing in the middle of the road, screaming for Clark. Superman races there as the Daily Planet building starts to collapse on her and Clark wakes up and we see it's only a nightmare. This was an amazing way to kick off episode three because I actually thought this was real. That's one thing I like about this show a lot. They really know how to reel you in. You know, they really 
show you one thing and you think, oh, it's like that. And they turn around and say, no, 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 not quite. It's more like this. So very, very clever the way they did that. And it wouldn't be the last time we're seeing that nightmare scenario. So we see Lois being Lois, trying to put on a brave face as she prioritizes the Manheim investigation while skipping her chemotherapy sessions. Now, I thought this was very well done because Lois still hasn't let the revelations sink in yet. So she's just trying to put on her reporter head and say, no, I'm Lois Lane. I'm going to do what I need to do. I'm going to do my job. Well, everybody's turning around and saying to listen, Lois, you've just been told shocking news. It's okay. You know, we're here for you. And Lois is just being Lois, you know, being absolutely stubborn and said, nope, I've got a job to do. Bruno Mannheim's going down. No one's going to stop me. So she looks for excuses not to go to her chemo sessions, which is understandable. But I thought the way they handled that side of things was very well done. And we see Natalie decides to give Lois her mum's watch with her and the twins and the Sarah's name's initials engraved on it, much to uh, John Henry Irons' uh, disapproval. We see Clark take Lois to her appointment, but he has to bail because he has to go and stop a landslide. And when he returns, Lois is long gone as she goes to meet up with Chrissy at a warehouse where they find Intergang up to all sorts of uh, things. And we see Intergang have got new weapons as well. Hmm. wonder where they came from. And we see Chrissy and Lois get locked in a freezer. Lois tries to use the signal, damp signal to call Superman for help, but to no avail. And... Very good episode here, you know, and Chrissy just rips into Lois about, you missed your chemo for this? What's the matter with you? So, you know, again, Lois just being stubborn and said, no, this is far more important. Bruno Mannheim's got to go down, blah, 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 you know. So it, it was quite um, interesting to see how Lois deals with bad news. Go out and be a reporter. That's what Lois does best. And... We also see John Henry install some security for Lana. Sarah goes and tells Kyle, and obviously this leads to a massive argument where Sarah accuses her mum of being bossy, being controlling, making everything about her, and she takes a real dirty shot here and says, yeah, that's why um, Dad cheated on you, and Lana ends up slapping her. <laughs> Pretty... Um, Big stuff here. I mean, I'm not really too bothered about the whole Lana and Kyle drama thing. I mean, it didn't take anything away from this episode. I mean, it was still good, but, you know, it's, it's not what we're really here for, are we? We're not here for the typical CW drama stuff, you know. We don't need that here. But it was okay. It didn't overshadow the episode that much, so I'm thankful for that. So, after... John Henry Irons and Superman take out various members of Intergang who have kryptonite weapons. We also learn that the sample of blood that was found, which was pumped into Miller, is actually Superman's blood. So there's a shocking revelation right there. So that explains how Miller got powers through Superman's blood. Where does this go next? Who knows? But already got my attention big, big time. Love it. So we see um, Candace's father steals Jonathan's truck and they manage to get the truck back and they manage to get the um, watch back as well. And we also see in this episode, towards the end, we see Natalie gives the Lois the watch and we see her and Clark leave for her appointment and that's pretty much how we end episode three overall brilliant episode a great follow-up and continuation from episode two I thought this was handled very well as I said before the whole Lana and Kyle Sarah thing I don't really care for that doesn't overshadow 
the episode that much, so that's good. But I thought the way they handled everything after Lois learned about her having breast cancer, I thought that was very well done. I think if you took out the Lana and Kyle stuff, cut that in half, remove it, this episode would be even better. Still fantastic. I still loved watching it. But that little bit you could just take out. Didn't need it. Other than that, this was a brilliant episode. And, you know, the opening with Clark trying to save Lois as everything is collapsing, I thought that was absolutely brilliant. I really liked that a lot. And, you know, it's really reeled you in and really put you on the edge of your seat, like, oh, my God, what's happening? You know, can Superman get to Lois in time? Brilliant opening. I thought that was fantastic. So that's going to be it from me. I am going to wrap this up now. What was your thoughts on episode three? Did you enjoy it? What did you think of Clark's nightmares, seeing Lois dying with the Daily Planet falling and all of Metropolis collapsing around her. Did you enjoy that? Did you think that was real? Or did you all know it was a nightmare? And also, how do you think Lois is handling the revelation of having breast cancer? Do you think she's handling it very well? Do you think they told that story very well? And also, what about the revelation that Bruno Mannheim is using a sample of Superman's blood to pump into Miller. Is it possible that Bruno Mannheim could be creating an army of superpowered beings? And if so, what do you think he'll be doing with these superpowered beings? And also, what about Lois? Do you think she will be cured of cancer? And if so, do you think there is a way that Clark could help her? Or do you think Lois could end up dying in this season? You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below, and I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Superman and Lois Season 3 Review Series, where I am going to be talking about Episode 4, which I am very much looking forward to seeing and talking about. Should be a fantastic one, especially with the way this entire episode played out and the way it's ended with the revelation regarding Superman's blood should be a good one and I'm really looking forward to it so until next time take care everybody and stay safe and once again as always much appreciated thanks for listening